my first time ever seeing any relics from any saint, and it's pretty amazing. I wanted to come to see the relic of St. Anthony because my, my parents are from India, and the church that my dad grew up in was a parish of St. Anthony. It's exciting to me that uh, I'm actually able to uh, visit with the relics here at my home parish and uh, share it with my daughter. We want to take St. Anthony to his many devotees, his many friends around the world who have not the chance to come to Padua. Saints are people who lived here with us. A relic is uh, the, the chance for them to have this uh, contact with this close encounter with him. It makes it real especially for the young ones, to understand that our saints really were people on earth, okay? And we all have the ability to be saints. This is the first time I've had the chance to encounter the relics and to be, in a sense, in the presence of Saint Anthony in such a special way. My mother lived to 98 years old. When I, since I was a kid, you know who she asked for all the time? Saint Anthony. Her words, if we did anything wrong, she would say, oh, St. Anthony. She loves St. Anthony. And this, uh, this prayer that I put uh, was for my mother. I've been trying to get a book contract for a long time. I had partially written a book, and um, I prayed to St. Anthony, and within an hour had received a contact from a media outlet that snowballed into a bunch of other things that actually turned into a contract with uh, Paulist Press to publish my book, Comic-Con Christianity. I pray to, for him to watch over our family and our friends and um, everyone we know and everyone who's going through a rough time. I think I was praying more for spiritual lost things, um, more peace within the family that I felt that I had more when I was a child, um, and maybe just like a lost sense of joy. I felt very calm when I was praying. Um, I felt just, I don't know, like it was a very serene feeling when, we were, when I was praying up there. It's been an exciting day uh, from welcoming the, the relics this morning and, and uh, rosary at noon, and now we'll close the day with uh, Bishop cel celebrating Mass here at, uh, at the Co-Cathedral. What made him a saint is that he allowed the Lord Jesus Christ to take hold of him, to take hold of his mind, to take hold of his heart, to take hold of his soul, to penetrate the very depths of his soul, to live so clearly with the Lord and in the Lord that everybody who met this young Anthony of Pilate, all who met him, all who saw him, all who heard him, all who knew him, at the same time were meeting and hearing and seeing.